Hey Archer nurses, it's time to talk about shock. If you're caring for a client in septic shock, which of these findings would indicate they're meeting their treatment goals? Pause here, think about it for a second, and jot down your answer. Okay, we've got four different numbers to interpret. A map of 67. This is good. We need a mean arterial pressure greater than 65 to perfuse our organs. And that's really key in shock. So I'm going to keep A for now. B, you're an output of 20 mLs per hour. I'm not so happy about this. The minimum urine output that tells me my kidneys are getting good blood flow is 30 mLs per hour. So this is not going to indicate that my client is meeting goals a capillary blood glucose of 253. We all know this means hyperglycemia, and we do expect to see hyperglycemia in shock, but it's not a good thing. It does not tell us we're meeting goals. And lastly, D, a serum pH of 7.33, just below the normal range of 7.35 to 7.45. So this tells us our client is still acidotic. Again, expected in shock, not a good thing. So A, that map of 67, is the correct answer. Now stick around all week to learn about shock here at Archer Enflex.